It's always interesting to see how architects design their own premises and how those premises reflect the firm's design philosophy. When you walk into the Gensler office in Chicago, you're struck by the very airy and calming atmosphere and the very ordered and efficient work environment. Then, as you look around, classical architectural details begin to reveal themselves. It's helped, of course, by the iconic nature of the building that the office is in, the former Carson Piri Scott department store on State Street. Originally designed by Louis Sullivan and built in 1899, it was expanded by Daniel Burnham in 1904 and then again in the 1960s by Hollybird and Roche. So there was a wealth of architectural history to renovate and reveal when the demise of the department store led to the building being converted to offices. This is apparent as soon as you step out of the elevator into Gensler's reception on the third floor. A quirky detail is the finish on the elevator doors. When the painters began sanding these, a random pattern formed by the old layers of paint emerged. And it was decided to stop at that point and seal the pattern to reflect their history. But even more impressive are the reception area's tall columns with their decorative capitals. Typical of Louis Sullivan's belief that ornamental architecture provided a celebration of life. These columns have been restored and are a defining feature throughout the office. For example, in the library, in this meeting area, and in the main studio area. The office accommodates 256 workstations, and because of the collaborative nature of the work processes at Gensler, it was also necessary to include informal meeting spaces throughout the studio. So no workstation is more than half an aisle away from one of these collaborative areas.